If you're an action head, check this out. I certainly had fun doing it. We'll never fade like a genius would. Muffin Blue Tiny, can you know that we're heaps good? They ain't sick, boy. They just seem crook. Muffin Blue Tiny, and you know that we're heaps. This is heaps good. Hi, I'm Kelly and we're here on the sunny St Kilda foreshore to check out the latest passion to hit Australia, kite surfing. It originated in Hawaii about 15 years ago and has become a more and more popular sport in the last couple of years. Today we're going to have a look at the competition and check out just what goes into this passion and I might even have a lesson or two. So we certainly don't cut any corners down here. We've got our lovely bar and our lovely guy, Guy, down here with his bar. What are you doing down here, Guy? Well, I'm just really passionate about the sport. I just think it's an amazing spectacle. Um, I really like the, uh, the the way you get freedom just to get, get some air time, you know, make some moves and uh, I, I built this bar to support the guys really just to uh, make sure that they had uh, some rehydration available and you know eskies don't get that uh, cold on the beach so here's my bar. Well I certainly think I have one of the most difficult jobs in the world and I think you guys have certainly got it right about the passion that you've chosen. Would you all like to tell me a little bit about what got you into it? Perhaps we'll start with Mitch. Yeah sure uh, I got into kiteboarding probably five years ago uh, as an ex-windsurfer and surfer. Would you like to tell me about your first experience surfing here in Melbourne? Yeah, first uh, kite surfing experience was pretty horrific. We started off over in Williamstown, the other side of the bay on a westerly and uh, launched over there. We had a rubber ducky sort of following us. And by the time we got back to the uh, St Kilda Pier here, one of the kites had gone down and we had the police helicopter hovering above, sort of out trying to rescue us. They uh, thought a parachutist had gone down. So that was the first sort of uh, my experience anyway. So James, how did you get into kites? I, I just love the freedom of it and as soon as I saw it I wanted to try it and uh, Mitch and I were, um, all of our friends were windsurfers and surfers and it was just the, the fact that you could do big airs without any waves as opposed to windsurfing where you launch off the waves, we can do jumps now well over 30 foot high and it's unreal. Sounds fantastic. So I think I'm going to have to give it a bit of a try because everyone's told me it's very addictive once you've done it once. It's pretty light conditions at the moment so it should be alright this afternoon. For Good for a beginner? Lesson. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Perfect. Let's do it, shall we? Tell me, what is this and, and, and this and how do I use it? <laughs> well, what you're wearing now is a harness. That takes predominantly all the weight of the kite. So you've got the kite here, it's an inflatable kite. Um, pump it up by hand. Uh, it floats on the water and you get different sizes. This is a 9 metre we've got here, as I was saying before, for sort of high winds. You normally yep. have a, a 12 metre as well, they have 16 metres, and you have a variety of sizes for different sort of conditions. So what else do we have here? Right, so we've also got the bar. Now you will be holding up the onto. Cart. This is what you'll be holding on to. And this thing here is called a chicken loop, and it hooks into there like that. Push and pull. So push your left hand. Right, yeah, that's it. You sort of, yeah, anchor, yeah, that's how you steer. So lean back into it. That's it push and pull. So it takes all the way. There you go, a bit of action. Well, the comps are called a freestyle style comp. Uh, flat water riding as you can see there's no waves coming in. So they'll be doing a lot of technical tricks, a lot of sort of big airs, high powered moves. Uh, I've also got a kicker out there, a little ramp. Uh, a lot of the guys will be hitting that so hopefully we get a bit of wind in. Uh, we'll get out there a bit later on. Trying to shake 
Well, there you have it. That's kite surfing. I'm certainly coming back for some more lessons, so there's nothing more left to do than sit back, have a beer and enjoy the rest of the day.